Hello, peoples off the tube. I'm back. Uh, here I am. It's been a while, I think. It's been a little while. Um, I've been busy. No, I've not been busy. I've been lazy. But I thought too much time has passed since the last video. I don't want you all thinking I've died. Is that something you'd think? I don't know. Um, so I thought, what will I do? I'll make a nice video for for all one of you. Um, it's this, this isn't this isn't high effort content today, and it's not high originality content either. I need to push this elephant out of the way before I begin because this video is content-wise going to be almost identical to a video that one of the channels that I'm subscribed to made like three, three, four months ago. And obviously I'm aware that I have no audience, so there is no crossover section of audience that's going to notice that. It, it's not intentional. This is, this is not an intentional, ooh, that was a good video, I'm going to make that video. No. That's not, that's not quite what... Okay, so... The, uh, you've, have you read the description? Have you read the title? Basically, I'm looking over all this rubbish. This is... I found this in my attic a couple of months ago. Uh, and it amused me. It is my first and second year art folder. Um, and I thought, why don't I make a video just riffing on how bad everything is? And then I thought, hold on, that sounds weirdly familiar. Did I not just watch a video about that exact same thing, but not me. Yes. So, sorry, not sorry. I'm not copying your video. I'm, you're not going to watch this. Why am I, I don't know why I'm talking to you. Uh, but maybe you are. Hello. Anyway, so yes. Not entirely original, but not an intentional. It's, it's not going to be the same video. Incidentally, though, if you would like to see just this exact video, but with someone younger, better looking, and more charismatic than me, then, there you go. Go crazy. There's there's a link. What's that one instead? If you're still here, well done. Um, we are going to look through this folder of rubbish. It's terrible. Now, when I was in first and second year at secondary school, everyone, everyone has to do every subject. And I used to think I was quite good at art. I mean, I would argue I still think that. That doesn't mean I am good at art. I'm... I wouldn't claim to actually be good at art, but I can claim to think I'm good at art. But it's very selective, specific things that I do. It's, you know, things like this. Or things like this. Or a lot of messing around with people's photos like this. that's about the gist of the sort of art I can do. That isn't the sort of art that they had us do in, in secondary school. They had us do very set specific things. And we got to the end of second year, when we're choosing our subjects, despite my enthusiasm for it, art was a subject I'd done the worst in. And they said, well, I think we can assume that you're not, you're not going to be taking art next year. You've not really got much aptitude. I felt kind of annoyed about that. But honestly, Looking back at this stuff, I can kind of see why they said that. This was not my forte. There, some of this is not horrible. Most of it is. Some of it is hilarious. This has no place in it. Okay, so this is this is a picture. Uh, this is a Morris Minor, supposedly. That looks like a remote control car. That is someone driving the remote control car. That I don't know what that is. Another car. A lot of cars, very badly drawn I don't know how to draw cars, evidently. So, backstory behind this. This was very early into secondary school. Any time I go anywhere new, my situation changes. Suddenly I really miss whatever it was I did before that. I, I don't know. I'm never happy with, with what currently is. I always want what was. And this was sort of my first experience of this. I really missed the sort of banter of late primary school. Some of my friends and semi nemesises ne nemeses anyway I, I missed all that and I also had a little mo model Morris Minor uh, convertible blue sort of thing like that 
I had this great idea. I was like, I'm going to learn how to do an animated film like Toy Story, a CG animation. I was like, that's what I want to do and make a full length film about us going on a road trip. And and it, I, had it, I had it all planned out. It was so elaborate. Never made it. I did make an animated movie eventually. It was awful. It was like one frame per minute, but I, I made it. It wasn't anything to do with this. This is a scene where this character uh, crashes. That, that, to my memory, we had like a cart. It was the like, one of the one of the boys pulled a, pulled us in a cart, like a like a, and and it got broken by this guy, and he gave us his car. But then we broke another car later on and had to make it out of musical instruments. It, it was very weird. That is a picture of it when it was in the planning stage. It never went very far beyond that. I did little um, storyboards for it. I did a practiced out rehearsed scenes with, with toys. Never came to anything. So that was that was a bit pointless. So here is, they asked us, I'm, I'm guessing, to write a word in an arty style that described the word itself. So here is sun, and it's like the sun. Tree, it's like a bunch of trees. That's fine. That's not. That's that's that's. That's not particularly horrible. Then we've got. <laughs> they, they don't get better with Harry. Who's all right? It's gotten damaged. Then. Then we've got punch. I'm trying not to laugh too much because my face is bad enough when I'm, when I'm not laughing. Punch is. Um, punch is interesting. What is that? <laughs> oh, what a mess! Oh, I love the face. Oh my goodness, I just realised they're meant to look like people. Right, these are all people that I knew. That's that's uh, the characters from my original comic. Um, no one, no, I don't think I've ever made a video about my comics ever. But uh, anyone that watches my life knows about my, my ridiculous comics. Before my comics, I did another load of comics with different characters. And that was all the main characters. It was Craig, Jay, Thomas, and Hector. Okay, that makes more sense. It still looks awful. I mean, the facial expressions are quite nice, but it just it's just too much. It's its just over the top. It's ridiculous. This, we had to design a product. Uh, I don't know what exactly the, this was. It's called Splat Snacks. Uh, that's not how you spell snacks, is it? No, there's a C in snack. Oh, well. Um, chilied prawn and onion flavour. Uh, this guy that's the that's the advertiser, the slow the, the mascot. He was a random guy I met on holiday that worked at the hotel once that I went to, and he was Spanish and he said everything was very very nice. And as if that wasn't bad enough, I just made the exact same thing with very little improvement. It's a little bit better. The 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 outline around splat's quite nice. I still haven't learned how to spell snacks. Um. It's a, it's a little bit nicer. It's a nicer colour of paper. My handwriting is horrible. Uh, yeah, that's kind of underwhelming. It's not very interesting, particularly. Bloodspoons new splat snacks. Chili prawn and onion flavour. So good, I made it twice. Uh, okay, we had to design a, a vehicle, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. I like the fact that the top of it is another Morris Minor. It's, it's just... I thought I reckon I just about worked out how to draw them. We've got, we've got a periscope. Just enjoy these lovely details. It's got like a capsule you can go down in that looks like the glass elevator. We've got a drill. I, I don't know what the purpose of this vehicle is. It's got a film camera on it, so it's it, is it for filming? I don't know. Massive like cannon on the top, a satellite dish, a claw arm. A, oh gosh, it's got everything going on here. It's a bit over the top. To be honest, that would not be my first choice in vehicle. Okay, now, well, this... This definitely wasn't drawn in secondary school. This is... I don't know how that's got in the mix. That's very young level. Apparently, I co-drew this with my sister. Um, so I don't... I don't know if this, this is for my grandmother, who has been dead for a very long time. Um, so I, I can't say entirely who's to blame for this. It's just, it's a child's drawing. There's, that, there's not really much to say about that. I don't know why that's in there, to be honest. But it is. So that's that's something. Now, I don't know the backstory to this. I can but guess that they asked us probably to design a hand tattoo. So, uh, Sewage, I know you've got a tattoo now, but if you want another one, why not get this? 
<laughs> Look at all this. God, bro, there's a Dalek, there's a TARDIS, there's uh, my, my friend from primary school that was on in the car from earlier. There's a guy with sunglasses, is that meant to be Thomas? There's a fish skeleton, there's... What, what earth is that? Muppets! Oh, it's Muppets! It's Miss... Blue Miss Piggy, Red Kermit, Green Fuzzy Bear, Pink Gonzo. There is... I think that's my friend Hannah. Over there with green hair. How I can guess that's her. Her hair was not green. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know who half these people are. There's Craig, there's a sheep. There's... Yeah, I mean... If I were... To, I, I, I'm not really the sort of person to get it to myself. But if I did, that's what I get. All over my hands. This bit just looks like, There's all these ra random red splodges. It looks like it's bleeding everywhere. It's unpleasant. My awful handwriting again. <laughs> Look at that. Like, I'd love to say that, that this was... I wrote this one out 13, 12 at the youngest. My handwriting has not improved. My, if anything, my writing is worse now. So that's that's nice. Uh, I don't know what that is. The face, I guess. What was I going for there? What was the briefing? Goodness knows. It's not bad. It, it, it feels like if I if I folded it in half, the paint would all crumble off. It's got a very crumbly feel to it. Um, okay, now, I remember this. Uh, I switched up my comic style for a while and gave everyone these weird... Their mouths were down and in a little lump at the bottom of their face. I designed a movie with all of the characters. Uh, some of them from my primary school and some from uh, early days of secondary school. That's such a hideous art style. That's Just for comparison, here's a picture of that version of me as I draw it now. That's, that is that is hideous. It's, it's really grim. I, like It looks horrible. I, I, I thought it was an improvement. It was not. I don't know what that was meant to be for. This, I don't think this was submitted as an art piece. None of this has been marked, incidentally. They didn't, they didn't give me any, any markings or any fe particular feedback on it. They just left us to it and like, okay, do that. Okay, this is nice. Um, there's drawings on both sides of this. This is. I'll show you the back of it because this is just me. Do I, I doodle over the back of everything. This isn't for art. This is just. This is the Muppets. It's a bunch of Muppets. I see Sweetums. I see New Zealand. I see Scooter. A lot of obscure Muppets. A load of them up as everyone knows. Miss Piggy looks ridiculous. But on the reverse side of this, I've invented it also. Um, I was really smart and I connected a load of crayons, I think, together and, and drew at the same time. So this is a Snellagorillaba Scott. I don't know. It's a bunch of animals combined together. I, I can't read that. Snellagorinoba Sconac. Be long draft. I don't know. <laughs> I think we had to mix a bunch of animals together and make another animal. It looks awful. It's terrible. It's. I wouldn't want to make. I mean, it's not badly drawn, but it's. What is it? I don't know. There's a snake. There's a snail. There's an elephant. A giraffe. A lion. A gorilla. I don't know what those feet are. Like a spider, maybe. A scorpion. What's that big brown thing on its back? I don't know. This is a slightly a slightly nicer hand tattoo. This one's in black and white. That's, 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 that's vaguely nice. I mean, I still I wouldn't want that on my hand, but... I, the, the, the caterpillar is a bit of a mess. I don't know what that's meant to be. Uh, what's, what's that on the thumb? Oh, it's a TARDIS! It's inside of the, it's inside of the TARDIS. Look, look. That's actually really cool. <laughs> okay, well, that's that's not bad. Yeah, there's a speaker. I th that 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 is a speaker under a girder. Why? What's that meant to represent? I don't know. And there's the, there's guitars. I've never been even remotely musically talented. Why? Why? Oh well, that's nice. Okay, now this one, this one I I I remember quite distinctly in second year. We had to draw realistic wildlife using pencil, you know, sort of subtle shading. I tried. It didn't go very well. I got a bit bored. Uh, between the two of them, then I created this. <laughs> I just didn't know what's going on. I don't know what's scarier, the beak or the mechanical legs. Or the, uh, the eyes. The maniacal eye. 
I just, I'm not good at that sort of style. I'm not good at anything, apparently. <laughs> Look at it! Oh, I don't know. Okay, this piece is called Rockster. Not Rockstar! Rockster, with an E. Uh, I don't know where I got that uh, lettering from, but it's quite nice. And it's, it's like a dragon, that's... That's not bad. That's, that's, that's about the best thing I've done. So from this distance, it looks quite good. I mean, you look at it close up, and it's very sloppy. It's a mess. But you put it back here. That's that looks quite good. I'm quite. I'm kind of happy with that. That's. Um, I just only look at it in the viewfinder of the camera. It looks absolutely fine. Look at this. It's the best piece of art I've ever done. Okay, so here is my attempt at abstract art. Uh, it's not bad to be honest. That's it's all done in colouring pencil, which I, given my I I, I used to I, I did everything with colouring pencil, but I had no patience to use it. Nowadays, I colour everything in digitally. You just click, 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 and it's coloured in solid block colour. That sort of thing. I mean, you can see the lines. It's not it's not amazing, but given what I know of my own patience, that's not bad. Um, this was our still life attempt. Now the piece, the thing about this that troubles me, there, there's well, there's a few issues I have with this picture. I remember drawing this. The day we we started planning it, I was, it, this was first year, and I was I was in a misbehaving phase. That day and the day before it, I was I was really horrible to one of my one of like my favorite friends. I was like really really nasty. I still feel bad about it today, and that has kind of soured this image for me. Um, there's that, combined with the fact it's called Child's Play, I just, I, 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 I'm, I've never been particularly mature for my age, so when I was told to find some of these things and draw them, I just pulled out all the toys, I just pulled out all the toys, I got a toy boat, a teddy, a bunch of those little green army men like in Toy Story, and I drew that. So, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of lame. And then, just to tie this all off, it's called Child's Play, like I said, like like the film. I remember that being suggested to me. That's stupid. That's the name of a horror movie. This is just this, like, sickly saccharine. And I've gone over the army men in black biro pen when everything else is outlined in pencil. The worst of it is, in the style of Matisse. No. No, it's not. It's not in the style. It's in the style of me. Everything's in the style of me. And regardless of how well that matched the brief, I'll just show it to you. It's not horrible. It's not great. This is this is not this is not art by any stretch. It's not that bad. The background's quite nice. Is that in the style of Matisse? I can't even think offhand what 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 does Matisse do? Let's let's look at Matisse. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Guess what, guys? This exact image, remember this from earlier? This is just copied from a picture by Matisse! So that is the style of Matisse. This is, this is... I thought that seemed too good to be true. Go, you... You... Past me. William plagiarist! Okay, so that's taken the worth out of probably one of the better pictures. This is nothing like anything Matisse would draw. This is just rubbish. Uh, the one time they had us working with uh, ink, they, they were showing us the cross-hatching techniques. I didn't quite get it. I didn't understand. I just drew it, drew normally, and then coloured in with black. It's not the worst thing I've ever drawn. My primary school has apparently had its sign stolen to turn into a bumper. And some of the, the chair proportions aren't great. The ladder, there's a boat. Who's in the boat? Who is that? I can't read it. It's too, the writing's too bad. Oh, there's a book. I don't know what that's meant to be. There's a TARDIS in there again. There's everywhere TARDIS is. Picture. It's it's not very well drawn. It's a bit of a mess. There's a tire in there. Don't burn tires. It's dangerous. And that's not how you're supposed to. Do. You're supposed to do a complex cross hatching and like the dots and all the little textures. No, no, I'm not having that. It's either white or it's black. That's 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 just me all over, isn't it? So this is the worst thing. I've saved this one for towards the end. This is what I was drawing the day they told me I had no aptitude for art. Looking at it, I can see why they said that. This is... There is no distance away that this would look... 
No, no, the tree, the trees are never going to look good from any distance. I just, I don't, I never really got it. I don't think I ever quite grasped the idea of things that isn't draw an outline and color it in. That I'm okay at. No, I mean, you wouldn't think it from looking at this rubbish. I, I can just about do that now. This, no, this is this is terrible. It's drawn on really thick card, which makes it feel like it's more value than it should. Little wife is that the building? That building's not too bad, although it is. I, I, I feel like I, I think I just poured a load of water on it to make it, the lines softer. Bright purple chimney pots that are really like, distinct. It's not great. That's not that's not going any up. Put it back here. No, even back there. There's the trees. The trees just look like. Oh God, I don't know. So we're coming near the end now. The next two pictures. Just just to preface this. Anyone that's known me ever, pretty much, will know that the main one of my main interests in life is Doctor Who. That's why there's pictures, they're everywhere. I've been into it for quite a while. Uh, it's just it's my favourite thing. But back in early secondary school, like particularly in first year, I'd only just gotten into it. I'd only just found out what it was all about. The series was just about to come back. This is like early 2005. And I didn't really know much about it. There are two pictures then. This one uh, was drawn in the summer of 2005, by which point the first series had ended. Christopher Eccleston had left. I was sad because I liked him, and uh, you know my new show, the, the main character, had just changed actor, and so I drew a picture of him. It's fine. It's a picture. It's clearly meant to be Christopher Eccleston uh, in a not very well drawn TARDIS. It's just the door. It's not a box. It's just a door. Uh, that's fine. So, uh, that's that's just in there for context. That's a that's a drawing done in the summer of two thousand and five, I would guess, because uh, I did a few like that. But this next drawing has the dubious honour of being the first Doctor Who drawing I ever did. Um, it's not great. So I'll give you as fleeting a backstory as I can. My interest in the show kind of took off. There was a, a, a documentary, it was a, I think it was a repeat, that ran through everything that had happened for the you know the original series of Doctor Who, the 1960s through to the late 1980s, and it just sort of said, this happened, and this person was cast, and here's what they thought, and here's what happened in the show, and things were like this, and things were like that. I watched it, and I was like, this is amazing. This is exactly the sort of thing I'd be into. I absorbed it as much as I could, and I got really enthusiastic, and it was my new favourite thing, and I couldn't wait for there to be new episodes, and to try and find old episodes to watch, and to read the books, and just go all, go full, go the full Gemmington, and do drawings everywhere. But I'd only seen, the, I didn't have the internet back then, so I couldn't look up pictures of it, I just had my memory of what things looked like in that episode, and this is evidence, if ever there needed it, that... The human memory is very fallible because this is what I, this is my very first Doctor Who drawing. We've got William Hartnell is completely bald except for his long hair, wearing a cardigan and a bow tie. Patrick Troughton is wearing a dress. That's pretty much John Pertwee. Tom Baker, uh, not really. Peter Davison is green. Colin Baker, I don't know what's happened to him. Sylvester McCoy in his lovely stripy jacket. Of course, we all know he was in a barbershop quartet. Um, Christopher Eccleston is kind of wearing John Hurt's costume. That didn't exist back then. The TARDIS is just a blank box. <laughs> it's so bad! Oh, goodness me. I, 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 this is one of the main reasons I wanted to find this folder, because I was convinced this picture was in here. I knew that that was my very first Doctor Who drawing. I can look back at pictures of Doctor Who I you know, drew three, four years ago and think, oh, that's terrible. I mean, I can look at pictures I've drawn now and think they look terrible. I'm, 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 I'm open to, to self-criticism of any form. But that is, that really takes the biscuit. That there is nothing in there that is correct. Uh, no, not a single detail is right in that. Sylvester McCoy has question marks in his jumper. That's about it. But it's not the right jumper. That's, none of that is right. Paul McGann, nowhere to be seen. He wasn't mentioned in the documentary until um, after the first episode had aired, but before I saw it, because I was on holiday. I didn't know Paul McGann existed. 
so this is just I thought I thought we're gonna have like a, the first episode would open with Sylvester McCoy coming in, dying and regenerating to cut Christopher Eccleston. Little did I know that already existed. It was called the T V movie and it was horrible. So we're not done. We're nearly done. I know we, we, we've been. This is like half an hour plus. This is this is going on far too long. So this is the last one. I'm not sure why I've saved this to last. There there is worse things in there. But this is quite bad. So we had to pair up with a friend. Uh, at the time, the person I got on best with was a guy called Craig, who I've not spoken to in well over ten years. Uh, this is about ten years ago, <laughs> but back then. He was he was he was he was my go-to guy. He was my favourite person in my class. We had to draw each other, and our favourite things, and a general selection of things that sort of summed up the person. So for Craig or Craigie, as I tended to call him at the time, uh, his name, but with a Y because it's Craigie. His age, he was 13 apparently when I drew this. Uh, I think he was slightly older than me. Homer Simpson, at a pinch. Uh, Mr. Bean and his, his car and his teddy. Cadbury's Caramel Bar. Sponsor. Freckles, I believe those are meant to be because he's a very freckly guy. I don't know if he still is. Um, a splodger red. I don't know. Blood. That seems to be a recurring theme in these. They're very violent. Uh, these two guys... I, I don't know. I don't know who they're meant to be. I have no idea. A fat guy and a thin guy with car parts and skulls on their head. Maybe something he was into. A sandwich. A little salad and a slop of bl- ploppy sauce. I don't know what that's meant to be. Um, anyway, that was that, this isn't the picture. This is just the ideas practice sheet. The actual picture, well now. Um, oh gosh. I don't, do I want to sh- no. No, we'll save this one. We're saving it. It's that little bit long here. This is, this is this will give you nightmares. I'll show you the one he did with me first, because he let me keep that, which is nice. Um, I have a memento of what I was like, uh, or how the world saw me. How long ago? Uh, I was still 12, so sometime between the summer of 2004 and the summer of 2005. There's me! Look at that! It looks just like me. I wish I was that thin. Gosh darn it. Look at look, look, look how heavy my hair is. Like, that's this is, I mean, the hairline's about right, to be honest. Is my name uh, twice, my age, 12. That ridiculous picture, Tom Baker, yeah, he's back again. That's his attempt to draw, my, his bad attempt to draw my bad attempt of Tom Baker. Wonderful. Scooter from the Muppets, is, where is he? That's a bit closer to the mark. You might be thinking, what's, what's that? It's meant to be spaghetti with bolognese sauce. If you're thinking it looks very green on the camera, no, nope. no, it is it is painted green. That is green. The the background is also green. It's just slightly more green. Um, my age twice, my name twice. Pasta, Tom Baker, and Scooter from the Muppets. I mean, that's that's pretty much sums me up. I mean, twelve and twelve added together is just about my age. Not quite. It's depressing. So that is that's fine to be honest. That's not that bad. But what I created, well, I've shown you a million drawings of a million people, but none of them capture his likeness. What? I just noticed his haircut. It was not like that. Okay, so let's just let's just let's just soak this in, shall we? I I, I seem to give up on his freckles part way down. I don't think they were quite as severe as that, or stopped. Oh, this the camera is not picking up the true beauty of this. Of this wonderful work. Oh, there we go, that, that kind of shows it from that angle. The, uh, the eyes, the freckles, the nose. Uh, we've got we've given him some chips. I still don't know why that sloppy sauce is behind the sandwich. Uh, it's just the same characters again. Um, but yeah, that is that is something else. He's, he's got like a weird undercut bowl cut thing. It's long and bowl cut at the top but it's like completely bare around the sides. Um, that That is something that I hope gives you the same nightmare as it gave me when I first looked at it like earlier this year. Well that's it. You'll be glad to know we're done. Uh, we've looked at everything. Was it worth making 
I love the fact that I linked you to Jasper's video at the start. It's like five minutes to do what took me an hour. I'll try and cut this down in the edit, but sorry, I ramble too much. That's my problem. Um, I hope I hope you've not got. Actually, to be honest, it's probably better if you have gone. Then you wouldn't have seen that monstrosity then. I hope you enjoyed the video. You probably didn't. I probably won't. I probably won't even watch this. But there we go. There's a video. See you in another year. Until then, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Starry, starry night. Paint. If the one that created of me looked familiar, uh, then yeah, I used that in um, She Makes Me Cry Who. Do you remember that really weird, disturbing, artsy video I did? No. Anyway, that, it was in that. I implied that it had been set on fire. <gasps> Ooh. Bye.